contemporary star quarterbacks that we always put him ahead of. You know, we always put him ahead of Matt Ryan. We always put him ahead of Drew Brees. We always put him ahead of Cam Newton. We put him ahead of Matt Ryan. Many of you put him ahead of Tom Brady. And we get a couple of these a year, these, these big Aaron Rodgers games. And here's what's interesting when Aaron Rodgers faces the other great quarterbacks that you always put him ahead of. Brady, Breeze, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Andrew Locke, Russell Wilson. You always put him ahead of those. It's funny because Aaron doesn't win a lot of those games. Um, so let's take this year. He faced uh, Tom Brady week nine. He lost. And then he faced Jared Goff week eight. He's one of the great young players, and he lost that one. And then last year he faced Cam Newton off the injury week 15 and lost. And then he faced Matt Ryan in week two, and he lost. He did face Russell Wilson last year at home and won. But two years ago he faced Matt Ryan, NFC Championship, and lost. He faced Russell Wilson and won, and then he faced Andrew Luck and lost, and faced Matt Ryan and lost. When is winning going to matter in these big standalone contemporary star quarterback versus contemporary star quarterback? When, when is the winning part going to matter? But his defense, it's 11th, first in sacks, fifth in pass defense. Those numbers tonight are um, even or better than Russell Wilson. When Drew Brees, who doesn't make excuses, faces his contemporaries, the last 10 times Drew Brees has faced, you know, those great quarterbacks, he's 6-4. and four. The last 10 times Tom Brady has faced, faced contemporary quarterbacks in that small group, he's 9-1. and one. Aaron Rodgers, last seven years, Green Bay's got a losing record on the road. 0-3 against Russell Wilson in Seattle, faces him again tonight. I am by no means not saying Aaron Rodgers isn't great. But God, you hold LeBron and Kevin Durant and Tom Brady, Cam Newton and Big Ben. You hold all these stars in sports to actually winning games. Hell, you hold them to winning championships, which I championships is about luck and timing and your coach and your roster. I'm just looking for more Aaron Rodgers wins in the regular season against contemporary star quarterbacks. The guys you always slot them ahead of. Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Andrew Luck, Russell Wilson, Drew Brees, Tom Brady. It's time for some wins. I don't want to hear excuses. They're number one in the NFL in sacks. Top five pass defense. Number 11 in total defense, Seattle's 10 by like 15 yards. It's time to start winning these. We hold everybody else, every other quarterback, we hold. Where are the championships? Where are the titles? Where are the play? I'm not even asking for that with Aaron Rodgers. I'm just asking, you know, when you face these big standalone TV games that don't, aren't always at home and comfortable Lambeau, that you have to go on the road for these that you have to face a team that's also got some good players. I'm just asking that you could win some of these. I'm not demanding Super Bowls. I'm not demanding NFC championships. Fans do. We hold everybody else accountable in sports. LeBron, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Big Ben. We hold everybody accountable. Can I just hold Aaron Rodgers accountable to win one of these big television games that stand alone against a contemporary quarterback? Just asking. Coming up next, the rumors on Kevin Durant to the Lakers are now past rumors. They're now being confirmed by multiple legitimate sources. And I've just got one question for you if it happens. Just one. That's coming up next. Sleep can be a struggle. I did not struggle sleeping last night after seeing pure greatness.